reporting on the games you love by people who love to game. The MMO Reporter Network. Listening to Lotro Reporter on the MMO Reporter Network. Brought to you by Doghouse Systems. Choose your weapons with Doghouse Systems. Audible? Find your next great read at audibletrial.com slash MMO Reporter. And GoDaddy. Put your website to work while you play. Welcome to Lotro Reporter, episode 259. I'm your host, Carrie, and I am joined, as always, by the Mini Master himself, the person who cannot find his pants, Leonor! How you doing, Leonor? Hello, Minions. And I've just closed all of the windows, so I can't find the show notes either, so... Oh, dear! <laughs> Yay! <sighs> okay. Oh, boy. Okay, I'll find it. I'll find it. Don't worry. Slowly, folks. <laughs> this is what in professional podcasting we call stalling. Yeah, yeah. Um, while we're stalling, um, I don't know if you have an answer for this or not, but um, what uh, do do we have a couple more shows before the uh, holiday break, or we have not decided that yet? I don't think. Oh, okay. We won't be back next week. Nah, that's a little early. That's a little early for um. I think that's a little early for. Yep. Uh, that, that's a, that's a bit, quite a bit early, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh let's start off with you this week, and um, let's talk about the 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 thing that you did that was not Lotro related. The thing that I did that was not letter related. On my list? Yes. I played Dragon Age Inquisition. Okay, so I... I've been seeing commercials like all over the place for that thing. And uh, it shows a lot of people and like teamwork, like a large group of teamwork people. Uh-huh. And uh, they, um, there's some dwarf. Varric, yes. Varric's my favorite. <laughs> I love Varric. He's so cute. Okay, going on. <laughs> So is is that like a sequel or is it a new story altogether? It is um, a sequel. It is a sequel to yes, it's a part of the story. It's like part of the arc, uh-huh. uh, but it is a different um, hero. So it's a different part of the story. It's the same world, same kind of close to the time of the Dragon Age Origins um, and Dragon Age Two. And then this is, and Varric and Cassandra both had a part in Dragon Age 2, have a big part in this 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 story as well. Mm-hmm. And um, you can actually go online to this website and it will like import your info from Origins and um, from the other games that you played. So the story from Dragon Age Inquisition, some of the stuff changes a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, so if, if from Dragon Age Origins, if you made Alistair king, then Alistair will show up in Dragon Age Inquisition. Your hawk from Dragon Age 2 will show up in Dragon Age Inquisition. Mm. So it's kind of cool like that. That's kind of cool. I think they did something close to that with the Mass Effect games, too. Yeah, it's Bioware. Yep. So kind of what you should expect. Okay, so what else have you done? Um, Let's see, I've... I um, made a first recorded a first report. It'll be out this week. I finally got it done. Video editing is hard. (laughs) (laughs) And I thought, oh, I talked through this entire thing. No, I didn't realize how much I didn't actually talk through a lot of this. Yeah, I know. Apparently, you can't run and talk at the same time. (laughs) Apparently, it's an impossibility. Yeah, I remember Chris talk. actually talking about making that into a podcast. I'm like, no, it's, it's not going to work because I'm learning as I go, you know. And it, it's not the kind of show where we actually sit down and, and we do a bunch of research and then, you know, present it and do a show or, you know, um, teach somebody like a guide. It's yeah. a you grab and you go and yeah. you, you just you, you have fun playing the game. 
And I found that when I was doing Arcage that um I was quiet a lot. So I ended up chopping like a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I had thirty and I chopped it down to like twenty. Wow. Yeah. And it was it was not as bad. I was a little worried that it would be like very, very clear that I was chopping things. Mm -hmm. But it um turned out not to be so bad because you're just running. So it was just you just <laughs> ran forward a bit. <laughs> Yeah, it is, um, it was not bad. Anyway, but yeah, I had a good time doing that. I, I ended up recording it twice because the first time it didn't record. Mm. But, um, yeah, so, and then I, I was leveling my Bjorning last night, and somebody came Lan named Lanor came along and power leveled me, so <laughs> I, I got to watch Twitter and, and stuff like yeah. that. It's... Were you just going to say that, and then somebody Lanored over? <laughs> yeah, just Lanored over. <laughs> Just lay an order over and yeah, and power level me from 10 to 15, which is great because I have done the Kum um, Marshes thing about 15 times and I'm really, really tired of doing that. <laughs> really, really tired of doing yeah, that. Yeah, I, I asked you if you wanted to do it or not. I was like, do you just want to level or do you want to just do power leveling a little bit? And you're like, oh, I've done this before. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, I have many, many alts who are like 11, 12, level 11, 12. I've done this a lot. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I got presents last night. Yeah, you did. I did. I'm really excited. You get, you get the super duper, ultra awesome, coolie Christmas gift ever. Yeah, I did. I, let me see, make sure I have the name correct. Got the, where's the little thingy at? I got two symbols, Blemish symbols of the Elder King, and two of the Compendium Fives. Yes, uh, the Compendium Fives, you can make a relic to, um, it's one of those crafted relics, it's the fourth relic that goes on your legendary weapon. Okay. So you'll be able to make one of those. And yeah. um, we have uh, Anna Rose, Anna Rose, who has made the, um, uh, helped make the MMO Reporter podcast logo the new one okay and uh do you remember the um the oh geez the one that you love so much the the bird and frog logo yes yes for uh the the poem uh -huh. um she's here to make your legendary weapons for you oh nice hello carrie hi <laughs> weaponsmith and scholar at your service wonderful so we're going to add her to group right here, and she's pretty much uh, in town already. So um, tell her what you need, because I don't know if you needed a sword or a club or, or what. I don't know how much you hate me to, like, stab me. Um, <laughs> I, I don't, I, I, don't I, I, I would prefer a sword. I, I know the maces are uh, better weapons, but I like the sword, the looks of the sword. That would be lovely. Oh, she's going to stab me. I'm going to stab him, yes. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Oh, and she comes in her pretty blue outfit. I go, can I, is this the right outfit to wear? And he's like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to need this too. Here, one second. Oh, yeah, I, I, I can give extra. I think there's other pieces we need just besides the symbols, right? Oh, we, we got it all. Oh, we, we got it all. Just the okay. symbols is all we need. <laughs> all right. Okay. Open up chat real quick. Or not chat. Trade. Um, These will bump up your okay. first stagers. Ten more levels. Lovely. I've been holding on all kinds of goodies because I never, you know, every time I get to the level, it's like, okay, I can just afford a second age or so I never use any of the fancy add extra levels and add extra stuffs. And all right. So you said you needed the, <laughs> I'm getting there. Give me a minute. You Crafting live on Ultra Reporter. Yeah. What did I do wrong? Okay, I have this. How many people do we got in the chat room? We got, we have a few people in the chat room right now. Um, if you're you gonna guys, let him name my stuff. <laughs> if, if you guys have any ideas that you would like to uh, name Carrie's weapons, please feel free to write them down, type them up, 
<laughs> yes. I, I do not feel strongly that they must have elven names. I think I went, had one called Bard Sticker once or something. What? That's yeah, not well. <laughs> Um, I, I, somebody actually came up with an elven name for me one time for one of my, my third ager or second agers that involved, um, um, we did come up with the elven name and it had something to do with, um, yeah, it's like, like killing musicians or something. Cause I, I was going to chase egg tilt around from the BBB with it. A lot, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> If you met Eggfield, you would have went to chase him around a lot with this, uh, uh, something. Uh, chat room is suggesting Awesome Possum. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wait, why don't you go on uh, follow on Anna so we could take uh, so she could take us over to the crafting hall because I have no idea where it is. Okay. Then we could just get on over there. <laughs> Unless she's going to use one of these uh, uh, things over here to craft. I don't think those work. It's okay. kind of funny because in, in sword halls, uh, uh, these these are in sword halls too. It, it makes the instants go on hard mode. And um, I, I think they're called braziers. Okay, yeah, braziers, yep. But we used to call them braziers all the time until like somebody showed up in, in the group and they're like, that's not a brazier. Yeah, but... <laughs> so fun to call it that now isn't it yeah but we didn't know at the time oh <laughs> that's even funnier <laughs> yeah well um i'm always said has um, you know instructed me in some old english words that i have been pronouncing in my head wrong for since i was like 12 <laughs> oh old english is impossible <laughs> you can't pronounce old english yeah i listened to the tolkien professor read an old english poem once and I went wait what my brain cracked <laughs> oh we're there we're here yes we yeah. are all right so well that's oh there's a garden in here uh okay so well it's getting all crafted up um what I did this week um I got into the moors and I stayed in the moors for quite a while and I'm finally 50 percent into my rank congratulations that's rank yes 13 that's uh, I'm still 13, but I'm 50 percent, 50.66 percent towards my rank 14, and that's taken a while to get to that. Cool. Do you have a name yet for this weapon? Um, let us not name it Awesome Possum. <laughs> <laughs> um, was this the book or the sword? This is the sword. The sword. Um, Name it Gandalf, but spelled backwards. No, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Um, well, fell... call it call it the um chicken head. No, tame, tame, T A M E, like the 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 um taming the... of the shrew. Well, no, like the the kin. Mm-hmm. Tame weapon weaponsmithing limited LTD. <laughs> not limited that either. I'm honest, not doing it. <laughs> I will not wear the eager beaver cloak either. <laughs> oh, you don't have the hot shot either, then, huh? I the the one with the the flames. I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I won't. I won't wear that title either. <laughs> I will wear the cloak because the cloak's really cool. And the other one's busy bee. Busy bee, yeah. Okay. Let's see what else did I do? I did. Um. Um. I didn't plan on working on my Bjorn this week. I I got it up to level fifty, I think, or fifty-one, something like that, and um. I ended up just jumping into the moors, but welcome back weekend is going on right now, even though it's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to be jumping in on that or not, um, but I should probably take advantage of that and start leveling. Yeah. 
Now, I asked um, in Twitter the other day, um, on Monday, what people were planning to do with this week, and every one of them said they were doing something with their Bjorning. Oh. Somebody said, um, I think it was Fredolis said that he had, like, taken off all the gear and still couldn't kill it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said that they tried jumping off of Weather Toss Top. I think that was Brax. And he still couldn't kill it. Mm-hmm. Somebody um, duoed a fellowship of taking back Weather Top <laughs> with Bjornings. <laughs> and they won. <laughs> I know somebody in the kinship was actually talking about that they were in yellow line and that the class was actually really, really, really hard to get killed in. So, um, yeah, they're they're pretty buff right now. I don't know if they're going to be nerfing them down a little bit to even them out or if they're going to be keeping them that way. So we'll we'll have to see what happens. Okay, so I got Siliquia of Spirit Pulses, Anthem Duration. Woohoo! I love that one. And Healing Skills Induction time nice Yay. make sure you put that scroll on there right away too okay scroll i think it'll go on there oh oh yeah you, yeah never uh, mind no it won't no it won't okay so you gotta identify Wait, yeah. it and then do it i've I, i've identified it but perhaps i have to have it um on my leveling it and i don't have so i gotta pick one to um pick one to take off I need two to take off, I guess. Um, while we're doing that, and this is so boring to the chat room people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm almost about to die. He, he killed his bear at 11. Oh, now it's a ghost bear. Oh. Now we need $25,000 to get it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what, what, what the, okay, here we go. Um, I guess that no, but I want to do that one. You fought an elite. Oh, come on! You know how Lotro is. You can't just be invincible all the time when you're level eleven. <laughs> he tried. He tried. Oh well. So let's see. What else did I do? I think that was pretty much about it. Uh, and then I helped you level on uh, Landreville. Yep. Or Landreval. And Raval, yep. It was fun. I had a good time. I just sat there. I tried to hit things, but it was kind of pointless. Because <laughs> <laughs> by the time they would get to him... It, it would die, and I would watch dead. you swing. And I was like, oh, well, um, you can uh, go watch something or eat or something if you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'll help. Do we yeah. have a name for the songbook? Um... 101 jokes for kids. <laughs> um, I think I'd like to name it Frog and Bird. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. I was in the middle of something. Go ahead and do the trade again, please. <laughs> well, I'm out of all of my... I had all kinds of stuff open. So I was like, oh, there's a trade thing. That's some pretty awesome armor. I don't even know what she's wearing. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's a crafter. I don't worry too much about it. Very soldier Borg look. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Borg helmet. That'll fit that pretty good. Yeah, we have yeah, the Borg helmet. That is, let's see what you're wearing. Unless you're like Anon, then we can't see I what you I shouldn't you're... be Anon, I don't think. That's the standard gear. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it'll be just standard. I haven't done anything with her. Skillful it's combat different. armor, of, armor the... of the deep. Oh, the that's... armor of the deep. Yeah, crafted yeah, by Panky. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> All right, let's see what skills we get on this one. Target resist, anthem of war, whoot, and healing and motivation skills, morale healing. Yay! Okay, thank you so much. We probably should like do the actual show instead of <laughs> <laughs> letting me stand here and do all my stuff like let's let's set up the relics and all this stuff <laughs> we probably best wait for that <laughs> all you need now is about a million skirm- i have skirm marks <laughs> yeah yeah million skirm marks million of these these um roots. i have a 
I have a million million of the the, the relic things yeah. to level it. Heritage. I have a million billion of them. Blah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a million billion of these things because I've been waiting and saving and waiting and saving. So I'll be good. I'll I'll have those things leveled like ASAP. <laughs> yeah. thank, you. thank you guys so much. That is so sweet. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Okay, we'll see you later, Anna Rose. Okay. Thank you, Anna Rose. Have a good night. You now have weapons, Coop. I do. I have very nice weapons. And now we can go on to the news. <laughs> Uh, where are we at in news? Bad news. Um, it was a bad week for server downtime. Yeah. Holy crap. Um, I was on Steam, and I was getting people that were asking me about Lotro if it was down or not. And I'm like, no, it's not down. At least I don't think it is. And I tried to log in, and yeah, it was down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, what's going on? I looked on Twitter and Lotro, um, not the Lotro Twitter account, but the um, the one that helps you. Uh, the customer service account. Customer service accounts. Um, it seems like yeah, the 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 server was going down like um, like every day for a couple hours. Um, I think there was one time where it went down twice. Uh, Brandywine went down twice or something like that. Uh, it, they, you know, people were writing in and, and they were saying, you know, we're, we're investigating it and we'll check it out and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, wow, this is kind of crazy. Yeah. So, do, do we have any kind of news on what was going on or was it um, just uh, some random stuff? I'm thinking it was some random stuff. Um, DDO was down too. So it is their servers, um, their, their server farm, wherever that is. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I was kind of wondering if it was a DDS attack. I think it's called a DDS attack? D DDoS. 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 Because, um, uh, what were they? Uh, Final Fantasy, the newest one? Uh, 14? 14? 14. 14. The, the uh, MMO? 14 got hit pretty bad, and not Wildstar, but something else. Wow. They, like, took down WoW for hours on launch day for warlords of draenor like hours well that was launch day though um i don't know no, it was a ddos attack on launch day okay i remember watching the news come out about the attack there was something else too that just got hit that uh just last week during all of this stuff so um i don't think it was guild wars it was something else mm, but yeah yeah uh, that was going around so i don't know if it was that or not but uh apparently turbine hasn't said anything about it no, I didn't see anything about it. So, yeah, um, that was just kind of odd. And it was right after the um, patch that they did that they surprised everybody with. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Bullroar Bull was <laughs> last weekend. Did you get a chance to um, be on it, any? No. Oh, well, there were some things this year. There's lots of changes about the Bjorning. Lots yeah, of yeah. changes. Like, like I was talking about earlier, they're, they're going to be starting to iron out the class. Um, I don't know if it's going to be like nerfed big time, but yeah, there are a lot of things on this list. <laughs> yeah. You know, was something that I found um, just absolutely fascinating, though? Hmm. The Enton Moore's guards, which used to attack low-level scaled-up players, have been given a talking to. Yeah. <laughs> That's been like, what, six months since they like allowed the scaling? Yeah. And, and they haven't um, fixed it yet? There, there, were, there were players that got in there pretty low level and uh, could get gear and stuff like that. So something else had to have happened where maybe somebody healed uh, the character or something like that. And then the, the guards went nuts and started attacking. Um I I used to see this happen a lot when people were using it as an exploit just to uh, uh, mess around. And uh, uh, guards would go all crazy trying to chase lower level characters. Um, so it's something that people did specifically or somebody just found, you know, like a glitch or something like that. And they would attack because I would see them move uh, in their wrong spots. 
which always tells me that they're attacking. You know, they they had attacked somebody today. <laughs> oh, they weren't in the spot they were supposed to be in. Right. Okay. And um, this was one of my top ten bugs that I didn't even think about, but I'm so happy we will now be able to use track nearby quests in the interior locations. Oh, nice. Oh, that is one of the things that drives me crazy. Nice, nice, nice. Um, another thing that I found was Gondor instance retaking Dol Amra. The the mobs will no longer fall off the boat. I think it would be fun to push a mob off the boat myself. <laughs> um, and then for Lauren, it said today that Bulrar will not be open over the holiday weekend. And I say enjoy leveling your bear. Yep. You know, anything else in the release notes that you saw that was... Oh, um, the other thing was they did do the um, Fellowship version of retaking Pelagreer. Yeah, that was the big one. Yeah. So it's kind of nice that we are going to be getting that as a six-man. I have gone through that quite a bit. Um, oh, that was the other thing that I've been going uh, uh, doing this week, was uh, doing a lot of epic battles. Um, but yeah, a six-man is going to be great. Uh, I think it's going to add a little bit more to it because it, it feels a little plain to me. It, it feels like something's missing, and I don't know exactly what. Um, there are a lot of downtime areas in this thing, though, so I'm hoping that they shorten a lot of stuff up and okay. um, and then do the six-man. Now, I don't know if they're thinking about making this into a 12-man. Probably not. Yeah. I haven't heard anything like that. Mm -hmm. It is it is actually pretty big. Like all the areas that you're fighting in, they're large areas. So mm -hmm. I wonder if they are planning a 12 man or not. So I don't know. We'll see. But uh, a six man is going to help this uh, a lot. It's going to be a lot of fun. Cool. That is really cool. Let's see what else we have in news. I lost the show notes. I'm running around in game. See, Wait. this is what happens when you put me in game. <laughs> <laughs> well, just People make are getting good. Make yeah. make it look good. That's all. I just fell off the stairs. What did you? I... <laughs> yes. A uh, turbine really, truly, honestly is sending out handwritten holiday cards with turbine point codes in them. I want one. If you put your address in when when um Code Blue told you to put your address in, um there is a chance that you will be receiving a handwritten Christmas holiday card from. From Lotro. Are you serious? That's when that happened. Yep, that's why they told you to put your address in. Oh, and man. I didn't. Yeah, I, I know. Didn't. Um, Draculetta did, and he got a card. Yeah, I'm waiting to get paid so I can offer Draculetta money. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. It's the ultimate collectible. I know it's pretty awesome. <laughs> I would like to put that uh, tucked and it's away. That dust. Dust, yeah. um, Dust used to be a GM on Brandywine for like a couple of years, and and everybody used to talk to Dust, and uh, then Dust left and got moved into you know somewhere else in in the the company, and uh, we had no idea that if Dust was in the company or not anymore until I read this letter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think Dust tried to get Co Blue to send them what her one, and it didn't work. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome collector. Um, and there was a little bit of news from the last live stream. 15.1 is going to be out after Thanksgiving, but before Christmas. Ah. And the producer's letter, there was some speculation, and it makes sense that the producer's letter may be coming out about that same time. Mm -hmm. oh. Um, oh, also, surprise, on the 24th, the, um, the phones were down, too. <laughs> And then, I don't know if I should be sad or excited or what. Did you see the picture that um, customer service put out of them playing um, live action Pac-Man in their offices? No. <laughs> yeah. So there's this, there's this big, big empty room with tape on the floor. And I'm looking at the tape and I realize that it's like where desks would go and like, you know, like between the, you know, and then the, the spaces between the desks. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell if they're they're taping that down because they're moving in, or if they moved furniture out and that's what was left. 
Um, but yes, yeah, so it was like where where cube walls would were be was there was tape down and they were and it looked like Pac Man, so they were playing Pac Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, phone closures Thursday and Friday of this week for American um, Thanksgiving and American <sighs> Black Friday holiday. Which I, is going to become a actual holiday, I'm sure soon. Wait a minute, what's it called? Black Friday. Oh. Or, but you know that that holiday where people like run each over, other over at Walmart to get one fifty dollar laptop. Well, because they have usually, only have one. Everybody's usually <laughs> off of work and everything anyway, so might as well make it a holiday, just like the Super Bowl. Yep. Except for those lovely retail people who now have to work on Thanksgiving, but we will not discuss that. Because we're going to be talking about the lit, no, 25% XP bonus between the November 26th, but it sounds like it's already turned on. Oh, and yeah. December 4th. So it's on, people. Go. Go. Why, what, what, are you, what are you still doing here? Go. Uh, <laughs> I'm level 100. I don't need to do that on this character. That's true. But you know what? Uh, there is a little bit more to that. Let's see. It is plus 25% experience gain on monster kills, crafting quests, completions, legendary items, and mounted combat. Ooh, Ellis. I'm telling you, as soon as I go get those things out of my vault, they're going to be level 100. As soon as I put them on there, it will be fine. I, I, I will not leave this place with those things not level 100. <laughs> Trust me. You know, I've actually never seen these, uh, the stained glass windows up here. You haven't? This is I want, this is a beautiful place, and over here's one of the scholar things. Yeah, it looks like a shrine. Yeah, it's a really pretty place up here. Mm-hmm. Oh, and we could have lunch or something with bread and horns. Oh, look, there's coffee or something in these cups. But yeah, and the biggest fireplace in the world. Yeah, it's a really. They did a really good job on Edelberg. Mm-hmm. Okay, I guess we're done with the news. Yep, pretty much. All right, um, Leonor, you have a did you know, but I think you forgot to put it in the show notes. It's right there. Bam. Okay. <laughs> Leonor, tell us what we should know. Uh, kind of as a follow-up thing from last week, um, since I've been looking at some of the newer things that they've been adding into the game, I found a great guide about socket, socket armor and essences. And um, to make a long story short, they pretty much took pictures of everything, kind of like what we do for relics uh, uh, when, when you want to see all the relics back to back. They did the same thing with essences. And um, it's all here. Uh, they, they found all the essences, all the crafted ones, all the ones that people have been getting out of um, some of the instance chests and stuff like that, the, uh, the barters. It's all listed here. And they actually have all of the gear that is out right now where you can uh, grab the essences and put into the gear. Uh, I think they even have like the lower level ones in here too. So if you guys want to know anything about the socket armor or the essences and have just been waiting for a guide to come out because it, there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you, you know, that's dropping everywhere and you don't know uh, heads or tails of any of it. This that is it. <laughs> this is the guide. <laughs> that would be me. Now there was something else I, I wanted to talk about too. Um, there were a couple of people that I met last week who had a lot of um, gold epic battle jewelry. And it, they had, it, that was all they had, you know, that they, they got it from epic battles. Now, I didn't know this. I, I haven't been keeping up with things apparently because, because if you do epic battles right now, they give you... Um, a currency and you can use the currency to trade that in to get any of the epic battle jewelry that you want oh oh okay 
so you, you still can get random drops, uh, random gold drops in epic battles as rewards. Uh, the, the teals, teals still drop uh, pretty easily in there, but they are giving us the currency now to go out and buy our own to finish our sets or just completely buy a set. As long as we just keep farming the um, the, the big battles, we'll keep getting a ton of currency and getting the jewelry. Uh, I That's why I have been in big battles recently. And uh, I'm getting about one piece of jewelry a day. Oh, but I'm, awesome. But I'm, I'm doing all of the quests in all of the big battles, though. <laughs> okay. So there is quite a bit of farming. Um, but uh, if you guys got off for this weekend for Thanksgiving and you want some jewelry, this is what you want to do this weekend. Yeah, sounds like that sounds like that's something you want it would want to do. That sounds cool. Well, thank you. That was Did You Know? <laughs>
Um, but I keep coming back to it because uh, there, there was one specific thing on there that kept, kept blowing my mind, and that was uh, a helmet that you only got when you reserved a copy of Minds of Moria at GameStop. It, what it is is a, a black helmet that has a candle on the right side, and uh, I don't know if it shows any light or anything like that, but I seen somebody in game have it like three years ago, and I really, really wanted it. So that's when um, I started tracking down a whole lot of things to um, just collect of Lotro, like in-game items from like magazines and stuff like that. I think uh, even a mama set tried looking for one of his magazines to give me a code that was in there, so you know, part of my so I could have it in my collection. So what I did was I looked at all the Sapiens and stuff, and I'm like, well, I think some of these other things are all promotional things too from reserving games and and um i i know that the uh the palermo steed and the cromillo steeds were um uh packs codes that they were giving out yep. so i sat down and i researched all of the items that he was giving away for his extra life charity um, uh, campaign and um holy crap <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> these are all pretty much promotional things and like some rare, rare things on here. Like this one right here, the cloak of deep halls, given away as a code master's contest item. So people that won the contest got this, and there weren't that many. Uh, and it was later on given away by a video game site called Games Radar, yep. and, and that was before Moria came out. So it was like a promotional thing. Um, this one, I didn't even know this was on the list until I started researching it, and I was going for this thing hardcore too. Is the the steed of the winged herald, which every time now when when this horse was out and the campaign was going on for this horse, it the the picture would come up every time you loaded up the game. It's a a horse that has a basically like a, a green wings draped on the yeah. sides of it. And um, the only way that you could get it is if you got five referrals, which means you got five people to play the game and actually spend money in the game. It wasn't just like, you know, hey, we, we made an account. They, I think they even had to have like a mo one month subscription. I think that okay. that's what the record, I, I think that's what it was. I had four and they stopped uh... doing this works. <laughs> So I'm happy that this is back up uh, as a, a gift for this uh, charity. And um, a lot, like every, pretty much everything that I listed here, you can get for like donating $5. Mm -hmm. And it, yes. it's, it is a bunch, a bunch of stuff. Uh, one, two, three, four, four steeds. One, two, three, four, five cosmetic things. And you get uh, four titles. Yeah. And if he hits his goals, there's going to be a, a couple other things yet too. So, wow. Yeah. So he's fifty-two thousand gets the ghost bear, and we are at fifty-one thousand six hundred and seventy-eight people. <laughs> Come yeah. on. People really want that ghost bear, but you know what? If the if the tundra bear was up, people would be going crazy about that. Now, this one, this is just like, I had no idea that this was even in the game in the first place. Um, I did hear that there was a box copy of Riders of Rohan in Europe. Oh. So, it did come out, box copy, you know, disc and everything. And there was no announcement or anything about it, but there was a a steed that came with that box and it is the Steed of Red Dawn. Now, you, if you scroll down to the bottom of the article, you'll see a picture of it. Wow, I want that. <laughs> yeah. So I, I didn't even know that the, the Steed was given away. I did a little bit of research on it, and uh, the forums were talking about it, and they were saying that uh, there, there was no advertisement about it. You know, there was no, no hint of anything about it. And just like maybe a few people had it, and... Um, 
nobody knew where it came from, so they didn't ask. And you know, it's, Writers of Rohan came out two years ago now. Yep. So, yeah. you know, I I can't I can't even track down a copy of the game. I want it. Yeah. Well, that is at what what, what amount? Fifty three thousand five hundred. All right. Keep keep talking to people. Mama said you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Woo. I'm not sure if he's going to hit that goal. No, I I don't think so. That is pretty high up there. But yep, that is the uh Pimp Your Elf article. That's pretty cool. Uh That's awesome. All right. I think that's all we have for news this evening. Um, so, would, Leonard, did you want to tell us about your spon our sponsors? Well, I continue My to sponsor. Play <laughs> yes. Your sponsors. We're going to talk about GoDaddy. Put your website to work while you play. If you guys are thinking about starting up a website, uh, go over to GoDaddy.com and use the coupon code MMO30 to take off 30% off your entire cart of all the things that you buy, which is your website. Uh, you, if you set up an email for your website, for, for the people that uh, um, are going to be helping you with the website, um, all of that stuff is 30% off. And if you just want a domain name, for let's say your blog or if you already have a website but didn't get a domain name at the time you can get one for $1.99 for an entire year if you use the coupon code MMO199 that is pretty cool I, I keep saying that every single week and I should get it for my blog but I keep forgetting yes you should totally get it for your blog totally totally I don't know what the name should be though it should be like Awesome, awesome, Leonore Possum. Possum, Maybe. Possum, Possum, Lay Awesome. Something like that. <laughs> hey, I have a Christmas tree in my belt. I have to put that up. What did I just do? Oh. You deleted your weapons. Yay. No, no, no. I locked them. I locked them before <laughs> I did anything. I'm like, I, I, I and the, the, the book doesn't really show up as gold i was oh, yeah. freaking out i'm like where is it where is it i don't think i deleted it <laughs> you're like yeah yeah that sounds great leonore yeah <laughs> i mean you're sweating bullets over there yeah i'm like terrified <laughs> i had like killed my weapon and the book because i'm like oh, that's why i'm like i'm looking and i'm like trying to say i better quit because i couldn't find the book and i was about to like die <laughs> But I found the book. I found the book. Yep, there was a lot of work in there. So I'm not even going to tell you. Ah, uh, yeah, thank you. If you are looking for a new PC, then check out doghousesystems.com and use the coupon code MMOREPORTER to double your RAM at checkout, which is super duper awesome. And if you are looking to get some new audiobooks, uh, especially over Thanksgiving where you don't want to talk to your in-laws, uh, go to audibletrial.com slash MMOreporter and get one month free, which is one credit for one free book. Yes. It is. And we are still doing... Um, Patreon. Patreon. Yeah, that is cool. That is... Um, Patreon.com. I don't know what we're up to yet. I don't know if we're still stuck at 78 or if we've moved ahead. Let's take a look and see. Still still at 78. That's okay. That's still 78 people who, $78 worth, 16 people who love us and want to support us and can support us mm -hmm. um, and help us basically pay for, right now we're paying for the hosting costs and things like that because yeah, that gets expensive. Oh, Especially yeah. when you start doing video. Yep, yep. Especially yeah, when... we, we've got a couple of goals set up on there. Um, I can't remember what the goal is to remove advertisements, but that's one of them. Um, uh, there's a, a, a long-term goal where we're hoping to go to, like, packs and stuff like that and um, uh, get even more videos and, and stuff like that for everybody. So we, we're, we're trying to branch out a little bit, but... Um, 
Not super fast, thank God. Yeah. That's a lot of, <laughs> that's a lot of work. Yeah, especially when you have to or do stupid things and have to record your um, first reports twice. Yeah. I'm learning, though. It was kind of fun. <laughs> maybe I should record my dog and try to edit that. Or maybe I should just record myself doing silly things in Lotro or something. There you go. Um... There was a maybe I should just pick random free to play games and download them and play them and like talk into my microphone and that would be fun. Be hey, fun. I don't have as many relics as I thought. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong character. <laughs> I'll, I'll but give, I still I'll, I'll no, throw an no. avalanche of relics oh, at you. No. <laughs> um I, I still have crystals of rem I have crystals of remembrance i can use on this thing too oh yeah i have three of those you sure can yeah and, uh, especially with the first agers that are going to be leveling with us from now on uh that's probably a good time to go ahead and put those on there yeah let's see what we otherwise got. i wouldn't be giving these things away as gifts i'd be just selling them be like whatever yeah oh yeah <laughs> For fifty, you know, fifty billion gold. Yeah, we were just going to be breaking them in a few months anyway. Whatever. But yeah, since they're leveling with uh, with us from now on, yay. Hey, my 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 minstrels, sort of the first age is um, to level seventy. Yay. And. I don't know where I'm at on the book yet. But I probably should tell you guys how to get a hold of us and you can tell us how much you hated this particular show because we rambled <laughs> so much. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, before I do that, um, my mama sent, sent us a letter. He says his name, uh, and I have to sign in again. Ugh. Um, uh, talk. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh... Uh, I'm. Should I say the contact information? Sure, go ahead. I'll, okay. I'll... While while she um delays, uh, we're gonna talk about our contact information, which is our email, lotro.reporter at gmail dot com. If you want to check us out on Twitter, please look for Lotro Reporter. Uh, check us out on Facebook as, of course, Lotro Reporter. If you want to send us a voicemail, please call us at six one six 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 seven seven eight. Uh, or you can use your computer, like your doghouse system computer or your not doghouse systems computer, and uh, just use your microphone and click the widget that is on the right side of our web page, and you can use that to record a message. Just make sure that you tell us which show it's for, because that it gets, just gets weird. It just yeah. gets weird, like, oof. Um, flashbacks. Uh, it, you can go ahead and check us out on YouTube, where if you um, uh, don't download our podcast through iTunes and you just get them through our website here, you can also get them on YouTube. So just look for Lotro Reporter uh, on YouTube, and uh, you can find all of our videos. Um, let's see what else. We do live streaming of games on Twitch, which is uh, twitch.tv slash Reporter. And um, our website is lotorreporter.com. All right. We got a quick letter from Amama said He says, here's a picture of my Bjorning. And guess what? I think I can get it on the screen. Let's see if it worked. Does it have my sock? Uh, no, it doesn't have your sock. Let's see. <sighs> Come on, really? Um... I, I told it to look there. <laughs> Properties. <laughs> Photo viewer. Refresh. Let's try refresh and see if that gives me what I want. Carrie's Twitter is at the ah. Carrie Mac. T H E C A R I M A C. And my Twitter is Lanor. L A Y A N O R. Yeah. Said very slow. For very specific reasons. reasons. Well, he sent, us, he sent us a picture of what his Bjorning looked like, and he wanted to know what we thought of the out, the outfit. And I have to say, it's pretty good. He's got the um, that bear hat, you know, that the hobbits wear all the time. You know, the one that's actually the bear head. The bear, 
that uh oh um yeah. the one with the the black mask over the eyes yes okay and then he's got the the shoulders that are like the fur um shoulder piece that came with um like the like the one shoulder piece it covers one shoulder more than the other one Yes, and it yes, and that's one of my favorite pieces. I use that with dresses all the time. It looks mm -hmm. fabulous. Yep, I like um, that one too. Yeah, and then he's got the I think it might be the snow, snow um, covered, you like the shirt, and then he's got the poor person's pants on. You know the one that with the, <laughs> well, you know the one that you get for Christmas. You know it's the the poor one, and you you know you the belt's tied with the the rope and you've got patches in your knees. And... Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then, and then his, his cloak is, looks like bear skin with teeth. It's probably from, um, probably from, uh, blah, 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 blah. The, the cold place for Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I, I, I think it looks pretty epic. I, I've been seeing that, uh, cloak and, uh, Oh, you know what? That could be the boar cloak from the Halloween events. Possibly. Um, Look up the core, he says, and um, shabby oh. leggings. And it is very cool, Mama said. Very cool. Um, people have been equipping their Bjorings with the, it, I think it's an item that is only in the turbine store. It is uh, like a wolf's head with no jaw. Okay, yeah. And uh, they've been pretty much been putting it with what Amama said has been dressing his character in. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. The only the only thing I would change um, is if you have the the I think it's the prisoner pants. There's some pants from Isengard mm -hmm. that are just that that just dye one color, and they've got a white belt with a big buckle in it, but they dye well one color. So you can, you know, do the black pants and they're like a true black. Um, I would do that for the bottom if I was going to do Would the Snow outfit. Beast shoes go with that? They don't die, so they, oh. they really wouldn't work. I mean, they're cool, but they yeah. look like more like Snow Beast than bare feet. Right. No, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Well, alrighty. I, I think yeah. uh, that's pretty much a show. I think so, too. Well, everyone, thank you so much for listening, and thank you for downloading, and um, as always, we do hope to see you in-game with my new shiny first, first agers. Shiny. We will talk to you later, Lanar. This was an awesome surprise. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, real quick before you you uh, shut off the live stream. When's the last time that you had two first agers? I have never had a first ager. Um, yeah, I didn't think level, so. Level fifty when they gave them to us in Moria. Okay. Didn't you? Didn't we get one or two in Moria? Yeah. They. Um. um no. We did they, get. We did get. Uh, currency, uh, like a, some sort of token where you could get a level 60. Okay. Uh, I think there was a level 59 as well. But later on, I think uh, going to Isengard, they gave us a first age, or maybe it was a second age. I think it was a second age. It definitely was not a first age. Because okay. I I've had second agers. I have never had a first age, besides that one that they gave us for finishing more. more. Okay. Yep. yep. All right, awesome. cool. Thank you so much. All right, chat room, have a good night. See ya. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. Don't forget to check out all the other podcasts at mmoreporter.com or by clicking on any of the links here. And please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash mmoreporter. Thanks, everyone, and see you in game.